To India now, where the government has invited farm union leaders to talks as thousands of farmers continue to block roads into the capital, Delhi. They are protesting agricultural reforms that they say will leave them at the mercy of big corporations. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said protesters are being misled by the opposition parties and that the laws will actually benefit them. These 20,000 farmers aren't going anywhere. Their trucks and tractors are blocking major highways near India's capital. Each of our tractors is loaded with rations for up to four months. Until the time the government reverses these new agricultural laws, none of us will go back. The farmers feel their livelihoods are under threat. New laws mean the government will soon stop buying grain at guaranteed prices. The farmers claim that could leave them at the mercy of corporations who won't pay enough for their crops. India's Prime Minister is trying to placate the groups because their protests are causing disruption and threaten to cost him politically. I want to tell the citizens and farmers. From the banks of the River Ganges and the holy city of Varanasi, that we are working with intentions which are as pure as the water of the river Ganges and without any intention of betrayal. Modi's government says the laws give farmers the freedom to sell their crops to private buyers rather than through the state. They insist the laws will drive up prices, but the farmers remain unconvinced. We have always suspected the government's intentions because they have become a slave of the corporations. They want to turn us into their slaves as well. The farmers' protests have been going on for months, since Parliament passed the new laws in September. But they only caught the country's attention in recent days, when thousands of farmers clashed with police. Security forces used tear gas and water cannons to prevent protesters from entering Delhi. They were stopped just outside the city. But they're now determined to camp out for the long haul. Well, for more on this story, let's bring in DW's correspondent Nimisha Jaiswal in Delhi. Nimisha, what can you tell us about the situation right now? Well, Kehat, the government has invited farm leaders to talks two days before they intended to, citing winter temperatures and the coronavirus at the protest sites. And the farmer leaders have agreed to go this time because the offer of talks is unconditional. But of course, this does not necessarily mean that we have a solution close at hand. This is the third such round of talks between the government and farmers. But the true deadlock is resulting of the fact that the government insists that it will not roll back the laws, that these laws are very beneficial to the farmers and through talks is trying to convince the farmers about their viewpoint, while farmers insist that they will not stop protesting until all three laws are rolled back completely. Well, what do farmers fear most about these new laws and are these fears actually justified? Well, Gahar, it's important to understand what these laws actually propose. One of the major proposals changes how exactly farmers can earn from their crops. So far, they've only been allowed to sell at government-designated state markets at a specific price. And now these laws allow them to go outside these markets, to markets further away from their base farms, as well as to privates and corporates uh, as well. But however, the the laws do not mention a key proposal that is central to the farmers' concerns, which is the minimum support price or MSP. The MSP is basically a base guarantee price that the government offers to farmers. The new laws do not mention this. Farmers fear that gradually the government will pull back from their responsibility of providing this price as corporates take over, leaving them in the lurch. Nimisha, you mentioned the government wants to meet farm, uh, uh, farmers' leaders uh, today. Do you think, uh, looking at all this pressure coming from the street, really, uh, are they due to give in to these protests? Well, giving in to the protests right now, Gerhard, entails 
retracting the laws, rolling back the laws completely, the government has emphatically said that it will not be doing that. So there will have to be some give from either side, probably if the farmers agree to a new law which emphatically states the guaranteed price that they're missing in the current laws, that may show a way forward. But so far, no backing down from either side. Thank you very much. Nimisha Jasmal for us. In Delhi...